Yeah. Okay, y'all. I'm a little out of breath. We got the whole chicken coop. All the big birds are up here sleeping. It's not quite dark, but they're old. They go to bed early. And we have all this open spot down here that I'm going to put as many babies as I can in. And we, of course, we got the trailer completely full. You haul sponsoring this video would be awesome but of course i don't have a thousand subscribers so y'all wouldn't do that but anyways got our u-haul it's slowed down to the max sun's going down and got the chicken coop in now we just gotta wait for these babies to do what they're gonna do so that i can catch as many as i can to put up the camera's showing it's much brighter than it is out here it's starting to get dark as you see they're starting to kind of turn in for the night it's what time is it 7 57 so i was thinking about 8 30 9 o'clock i think we're doing pretty good and i'm gonna hand catch as many of these as i can whenever they start settling down for the night and put them in with the big girls good morning we've been here for about 45 minutes now. We got the coop set up right there by the truck. You know the license plate. <laughs> I'm about to have new tags on it anyway. There's a lot of babies. This is the area. It looks like they got, like some guy came in here last night. I have no idea what I owe him. But he came in and done all this work. But my shed should be going in this area. I'm gonna see what he has in mind because I don't think he had a game plan when he came in here. He just came in here and started knocking away. So I gotta figure out what's going on there. But his equipment's still here, so that's our U-Haul over there is parked at the neighbor's house. Something on my leg. That's the cinder blocks that the shed's gonna be put on. Doc, get out of the chicken coop. Hey, Cooper. You liking your new home? Huh? We'll make a block, turn around. Okay, y'all. That is keeping me from hand cutting everything. That is another neighbor of mine who has come out with a bigger tractor to help try to dry out the spot and get my area cleaned up. So I'm not hand cutting with a chainsaw. It's lovely. Right now me and hubby sitting on cinder block chairs. We still haven't unloaded our stuff. Let's see. Chickens all over there. Let's see if we can zoom in on them. And then, of course, you saw Donkey Boy's tail. He's loving it out here. Just loving it. Listen. It is so quiet out here. And the neighbors are looking for a dog and they're hollering for the dog's name. Come on, Ducky boy. Doc, come. The boys went to go get something to eat. And I'm just enjoying the property. Hello, everybody. The sun's going down on my first night on the land since I have officially moved here and my little pitiful excuse of a fire for the night. Couldn't find our air mattress, so we will be mm -hmm. sleeping in the bed of the truck on a sleeping bag. And the teenagers misbehaving. are misbehaving. <laughs> Just jumped on top of my truck, y'all. Just jumped on top of my truck. Of course, Cooper's in bed with his girls. 
trying to get him to go up to the front. We forgot the ladder, y'all. We took the whole coop and forgot the ladder. We're trying to let the teenagers in, but Cooper's not going to allow them, so we need to let him get up to the top before we put the girls up. The teenagers. As soon as he gets up to the top, he has no control of what goes on. And he'll be up there sleeping and they can jump up there, get on the side of him and he don't care. Back to my little pillow. She's for fire tonight. Hey, it's a fire. It's nice. It smells good. I've got a lot of wood. But the chainsaw is way, like, I got, like, that tree back there. I don't know if I can zoom y'all in. I mean, there's piles of wood. I just can't get to my chainsaw to cut them up. So this is what we was able to find. We've been working on getting this fire going for a minute, too. We finally got it going good. All right. Tomorrow, I'll try to shoot some more of the day. And then the next set will be the shed. And then I will go to McDonald's or something and edit everything together and upload it. Okay guys, this is home. This loft up there belongs to my son. I only put one window in one of the lofts for his bedroom. So, this is my building. I gotta walk him by the truck, so I don't know how close it's gonna get. It's not the truck, so you walk it. Talk to him and I'm gonna give y'all a sneak peek of the well, I'll go to the back side right now. I'm gonna go talk to him and then I'll get in there and show y'all what the inside looks like before it gets moved on my property. And there's my back door. And I had both doors open outward. So make sure that they did all that right. And I just have a vent in my loft. Okay. So, I put both my doors to open out. That door's still open, we're just in here. These brace bars are just to move it. I have the two 12 foot locks on each end. And these bars here are gonna come out also. Where's my hand, yeah. These are gonna come out also, that's just to brace it up because let me go to one end of it. I'll go under my loft, I mean. My husband is 6'6", six, six and he's got clearance, but it's 44 foot long, and it had three 8 foot lofts, but I had them cut down, like take out the middle lofts. Of course, those brace bars are there just for the moving process, and so that gives us 12 foot of loft on each side. So my plan is to have, come in through the front door, right here, and around this area is going to be the kitchen and pantry, and then along this wall is our, you know, the living area. We don't need a very big living area. We're going to need more kitchen and pantry. And then on this side, more living area. The living area is going to go across the front door. And this side, we will put our bathroom and I guess more living area. And then we have the back door, other buildings back there. And again, my doors open out to save that square footage. It's there. See it going. Just a natural sunlight, it's not bad. So I have these two windows. The one window in the top of this loft, that's gonna be my son's loft. And me and my husband's gonna sleep on that side where the vent was. I didn't put any windows on the back side. Well, 
because of money. I will put windows in whenever I can afford it. And when, once I get my kitchen set up and see how I want, where I want the windows and stuff. But this side I'm planning on kitchen area, kitchen and pantry below my bedroom and bathroom and stuff below my son's bedroom. So this is my shed. It's not on my property yet, but it's made and it's ready and it's waiting. All right.